What's up, YTPC? Uncle Willie coming to you from the Mobile Lounge. Friday, we made it. Yes, sir, we made it. <clears throat> so, as you can tell by the uh, name of this video, it is Cigar Talk. Maybe I'll just call it Cigar Friday and then a little caption afterwards. Like today will be Cigar Friday and it's going to be about how I cut and light a cigar. Is it the right way? Could be. Is it the wrong way? Could be. At the end of the day, as long as you lit said cigar and you enjoy it, you must have done it the right way. So, let's jump right in. First of all, you pick a cigar and then you decide how you want to cut it. A lot of times for me, it depends on the shape of the cigar is how I'm going to cut it. Today I have a cigar Pier 28. And I'm not going to say much about the cigar because it's not a cigar topic. It's a cut and light topic. And so without further ado... I'm going to jump right in and show you how I choose to cut and light this Pier 28. This size, they consider it, they call it a rabito. A rabito. A rabito. Rabito. <clears throat> to me... It's a Lancero. But when you make the cigars, you can call it what you want to call it because it's your invention. So, this is rolled in true Cuban fashion. It's not a Cuban. It's rolled in true Cuban fashion. It has a triple cap. That's what the multi, multiple layers are right there. And that's called a little pigtail. There's different ways you can cut this pigtail and get to smoking. I typically punch 90% of my cigars. I just like, it's a clean... Not much waste, I'll show you. This, this punch, punches come in multiple designs, sizes. I got one here that I keep in the mobile lounge. It's a Zycar keychain punch. You pull it and it exposes the punch. Then when you push it shut, it cleans out the little piece of the cap that you cut, and it gets rid of it. I'm not fond of that punch that much. I like this one. This was my everyday carry for about 10 years. If you saw me, I had this in my pocket. And for the last, since... 2019 I carried this lighter this lighter is a flat flame it's hard to see when you're in the sun but it comes out of that little groove right there you can probably hear it now but it comes out and it tapers, but it still has a wide flame across the top, giving it a flat flame, not a single, double, triple, or a quad torch. It's a flat flame torch. So now, 
I always like to start out with a punch, and one reason I like this punch, and this thing, this thing's punched a thousand cigars. And my wife got me this, I know, 16, 17 years ago. I have never sharpened it. I like to give the cap just a little lick. It makes me feel like it moistened it enough that it's not going to break the cap or crack it. And once you put your punch, you straddle that little uh, pigtail and you just turn it as you're gently putting force down on it. And once you bottomed out on it, you just twist it a couple times, nice and easy, pull it back and you have a punch. Now, the reason I like a punch, that's not too bad. If you go with a punch, this is a 44 Magnum. I had a, I had a pistol, a Super Blackhawk, that shot this. You push that in there. This is all the waste you have from using a punch. The beauty about a punch is once you you once you punched it and if it doesn't have a decent draw on the cold draw, then you can use another option and go with it and cut cut it out with the guillotine. There's different I'm gonna show you that too. Since it has a pretty good uh, draw on it, I'm going to go ahead. You can hear the flame. You can see it a little bit right there. I'm going to toast the foot. Now, toasting the foot of the cigar, I got a little too close there. It's hard to see because it's not. Turn it down just a notch. Because of it being daylight, you can't really see it. But you toast in the foot. What that does is it warms up all the tobaccos in the foot of the cigar. And especially the filler. The filler. Not only is the filler. They use Lajero tobacco in the filler they also use what's called a volato which is the bottom trimmings of the tobacco plant and they use that and the lajero from it as the filler the filler is what's inside that they use and it's all all long filler meaning it's full leaves they'll roll that filler up at that point, they use a binder. Of the binder leaf has more flavor than what the filler has. Once they wrap it up with the binder leaf, they put it in a press. If it's going to be box press like this is, or even if it's a parejo, which means Typical cigar, round top, round cigar, unbox pressed is what a Parejo is. They put it in a mold and usually it sits overnight, 12 hours to overnight. Then once they pull it out, it's formed and then they can use the wrapper. And the wrapper typically is only about two to three inches wide. And as they roll it, they roll it at an angle. They put the wrapper down like this. So when they roll it, it, it rolls around and overlaps until it gets to the cap or the top, the head. Then they put the cap on it. And with this one, they've got a triple cap. Like I said, as you can see the different layers. So I got it nice and toasted. And it's probably lit. I've just been running my mouth instead of.
Now you're off to the races. Mm. Not Mailman Mike, Amazon. He bought right in front of me. I guess he's going to make a delivery here. I just let him go by. He'll probably walk right by me and not even know unless he hears me. But yeah, well, he went out the other door. So <laughs> you can see him up there. He don't know it, but I can see him too. Okay, I thought he was doing a bait and switch because he took two boxes up there, put one down, took a picture, and I thought he was, but he took the other one across the street. I was getting ready to catch him on camera, the old bait and switch. <laughs> Mess with Uncle Willie, will you? So anyway, let me try to get my train of thought back here because I want to go over some other items as well. In a sense... Toasting the foot, you could look at it as giving your pipe a char light. A lot of you guys will light your pipe and then basically put it out by tamping it and then relight it. And then that first one was your false light or your char light. Then the second one is the true light. To me, I just light it once and I'm smoking. I don't do the old char light and put it out. And That's just me. That works for me. If it works for you doing the char light, then by all means, carry on. I am not here to judge. But so, if this didn't have a good draw, like it promises to keep a good draw, then you have other options to take matter into your hand. You can go with a guillotine, which I got a couple different guillotines, guillotine, whatever you want to call it. I have one here that's rather fancy. You pull down, opens up. Put your cigar in, and you close it. It's all just fancy. Right there is what matters. These cutting edges right there. That's a guillotine. This is a guillotine. Only one side moves. It's sharp on both sides right there. Those are both made by Calibri. Then you have the Zycar. This is the XI. People have asked in, in Facebook forums about, see how the, the it closes and this one will, one will close before the other, but it won't lock. So with it being, they're like, my cutter doesn't shut at the same time. What can I do to correct that? Nothing. They, they shut independent. But what happens is when you put a cigar in there, this side might close first or this side, but it can only go so far. Halfway. Then this one will come through and complete the cut. And it's going to give you the perfect cut that you that you look for in a cutter. Now, Zycar, with their XI cutters, XI1, XI2, XI3, with their cutters, it even comes with a, uh, well, their lifetime warranty. But it comes with instructions. Most people will take it and use it like this and cut their cigar. It is designed to sit, you put it on the table, 
put your cigar in there like this. And with it being on the table, you cut it. And it's only going to cut off. This thickness from this closest blade to the to the edge of the cutter right there. It's only going to cut that off. And that's just just at it like a sixteenth of an inch. And it's, that's all you need to remove because that's going to remove a lot of the cap. And it's going to expose down into the filler and the binder. Once you make your first cut, if you do it the way they say, and it doesn't have a good draw, repeat process. And it will cut down more into the filler and binder, which will help open up the draw. And if you do it the third time, and it doesn't have a draw on it, oh, Uncle Willie would have that cigar thrown across the street by that time. I'm not fighting a cigar. That's just not the way it works. So, <laughs> Mrs. Uncle Willie came and got the package. So, after the third time, if it doesn't draw, I, I can it. I, I'm not messing with it. Now, that's, I sent that cutter in and got it a replacement. That 15 years ago, 14, 15 years ago, they sent it back in this leather sheath. They don't make these anymore. They used to give them out. Then they went to plastic. If you registered your cutter and told them what kind of cutter you had, they would send you a, a, a leather sheath. But then they turned it into a pleather sheath. So it was imitation leather. Now, one of the best guillotine cutters is Zycar, and it is the XO. Now, this one you have to be more careful cutting because you can't just lay it down and cut it because it'll take off <laughs> that much instead of a 16th. But the beauty about this cutter is it works off of planetary gear. And if you push one side, both sides shut. So it comes in both sides at the same time and cut from both sides instead of coming in. See how I'm pushing one side and it's closing. I keep that one in my in the mobile lounge. So there's a couple guillotine cutters. A lot of people go for another kind of cut. I got it here somewhere. Which is called a V cutter. And I have a Calibri V cutter. And I have a Zycar V cutter. This was one of the first cutters that Zycar came out with. Guaranteed for life. Calibri, one year warranty. This doesn't cut very deep, but it does cut down enough to go through the wrapper, the binder, and the filler. Calibri came out with this one, which is a deep, v cut you can see how much finger i can get in that one and when it comes down through you can see how pronounced it looks that's how it is when it comes down through your cigar it's like it's like a uh, chunk of watermelon it's almost like cutting a v out of a watermelon that's the way it reminds me of, of the way it cuts this is running way longer than I thought. So there is the punch, the V cut, the guillotine.
And now I'm going to show you a couple kind of scissors. These are the Zycar scissors. And you'll notice I have a lot of Zycar products because they're guaranteed for life. I've sent these, not these, but I've sent the scissors back three times and had a replacement on them three times. This was my everyday carry. This is the only thing I ever used to cut cigars with. This and this. If I couldn't cut a cigar with either one of these two, I didn't smoke one. And the way I knew what I would do is I would take a, 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 a file that had a, a V shape and I would put like two or three marks right there that was just enough that I could see it that I mean it wasn't really noticeable and when I got to cut the scissors back those marks weren't there so I knew they had replaced them instead of just sharpened them and then sent them back out they fold down into a nice compact size you carry on your keychain and these scissors bam Cuban crafter I've had these since uh, 2014. My, my, my daughter got them for me for a uh, uh, Father's Day present in 2014. I use them once a year. I bought a couple of these and sent them out as gifts and everybody else is broke. So I don't use these often because I don't want them to break. I don't know if I'm covering the subject that I wanted to cover, but since I'm doing this, I'm going to show you some lighters, and then I'm going to call it quits. I prefer the flat flame or either a single flame. Single flame. Single flame will give you pinpoint accuracy on lighting and toasting your cigar. And if you have to touch up where it runs up one side more than the other, the single flame, you can, you can control the, the, the pinpoint accuracy of it to touch up as needed on the cigar. That's a single flame, the double flame. I got this free at the event. It's a Zycar. The first one was a no name. This is another double flame, but the flame, you can, you can see how the jets, instead of being like this, they're tilted. So that puts the, puts the flame coming up into one instead of two flames. And this used to be what I carry to the lounge with me. I would have the, the copper and black, you know, to show off. This was one of my first torches that I got in like 2013. It's a triple flame. It'll light your cigar quick. That was before I knew all about toasting and everything. This one is a, an electronic jet line. I don't know if you can see it, but it turns red, a line in there. The flame actually turns red. It's a four, this tabletop. This is a quad torch and it has a built-in punch also. Fuel window. The flame usually turns red, but being out here, it's hard to see it. I mean, I can just barely tell. So, 25 minutes, man. 
I didn't want it to go this long, but boys, there you have it. That's the way I cut and light. Just remember, toasting is important to toast a foot. Keep the flame away from it. Don't put it right up on it or you're going to scorch the wrapper and defeat the purpose. Hold it back and you can see it turning red as you turn it and you're toasting the foot. Just That's why I like this because it covers the whole cigar and I can go up and down or back and forth and it's cut, putting the same amount of flame on it all the way across. Where the, where the single torch, you got to really get in there with it. This will light one quicker, easier. So there you have it. Remember, <laughs> If you stay ready, I didn't even go over my knives and, and whatnot. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And with that being said, until next time, you know what to do. Smoke them if you got them.